Hey everyone, it's Flying Ryan here with the review of the Wakira QR W100S. This is a um, Wi Fi uh, FPV quadcopter. You can fly it from your iPhone and it feeds back live video to the iPhone screen as you fly. Uh, this is an upgraded version. As you can see, the original W100 had these small props. Uh, and they released this new version with geared uh, drive and larger props so you get more power and uh, much longer flight times. Uh, it comes with this massive 500 or uh, 600 milliamp hour battery and it takes about two hours to charge but you get over 12 minutes of flight time with this battery. Uh, so that's really impressive flight times. Uh, comes with the dual port USB charger and a USB power cable. And then it also comes with a bind plug and some sort of tool, which I'm not exactly sure what you use those for. Um, I bought the Dimension Devo 4 separately to fly it with an actual transmitter, and I didn't have to use that bind plug to connect to this. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure when you would need to use the bind plug. Uh, but anyway, this is the iPhone app. Uh, it's a little bit ugly interface, and I also noticed that it has this, this uh, menu here where it's got four different models. You can you know, select and pick your settings. You can pick what mode you want to fly in and if you need to reverse anything. But it doesn't seem to save these settings. Every time I quit and relaunch the app, it's back to mode one again. So I don't, what's the point of saving four different models if they all just reset every time? Uh, so that's, that's kind of annoying. I've got to come in every time and reset it so that I've got my throttle on the left like I like it. Uh, but you, as you can see, you could, you could fly from the screen and then this, the entire background, when it's connected, the entire background is what is seen through the camera on the quadcopter. And then you can, you can take pictures or you can record the flight from the app, so that's pretty cool. Um, and then if you want to, you can, you can turn on the Devo 4, then turn on the quadcopter and they will sync to each other. And then you can turn on the app and watch the video on your iPhone while flying it from a normal transmitter. And so that way you don't have to use the sticks to fly it from. Uh, but really, it I found it was it was doable to fly with the iPhone sticks, especially if you're a gamer and you've played games on your phone a bit. It was actually flyable using these sticks. The problem is it is not flyable as FPV. Uh, being a Wi-Fi connection between the two, there is a significant I mean like one to two second video delay between the the quad itself and the app. Uh, so it's just absolutely impossible to fly at actually FPV. If you tried to fly purely looking at this screen, unless you're just like flying around way up in the sky in open space, you will crash. If you're trying to do any kind of, you know, flying around the house or around the yard, around furniture, around trees, any sort of precision flight, you will not be able to do that via FPV. Uh, so I'll, I'll see if I can somehow show that in the flight footage, but I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to do that yet. So uh, we'll uh, see what I come up with, and let's go look at that footage right now. All right, this is the flight review of the Wakira QR W100S. Uh, this is a little bit different than my regular flight review because I'm going to show you how to get it set up because there's quite a bit involved with getting the battery plugged in and linking it up to everything. Uh, so here's your battery compartment in the back, and there's a little latch here that you open, and then it's got the Wi-Fi FPV antenna attached to it there, so you just kind of have to dangle that out of the way. And then the battery goes in here in a slot, so fit the battery into place first, and you may have to push these wires underneath the plastic frame there to kind of get it to fit in. Make sure it's pushed all the way back, and then uh, you need to get the wires out and ready to plug in, if I can get it out of there, alright. Um, 
So you're going to want to have the, the plug ready to go and plug it in as soon as you turn on the radio. So I'm going to turn the radio on. Now I'm going to plug the quad in. And I think I give it throttle once, twice. Why did it not link up? Let me try powering it back on. All right, there we go. Now it's synced up. Not really sure why that took so many tries, but whatever. All right, so battery is plugged in and synced up. So now we can kind of fit the wires into this compartment, try to get them out of the way. And you've got this sort of lip here inside the the battery compartment that you've got to make sure that's not hitting anything make sure that your FPV antenna is not crunched in there and then you kind of fit this door back into place and snap it back down all right so now it is all plugged in and so now we're linked up with the Devo and you'll notice it with the geared motors, after I stop giving it throttle, it still continues to spin for a while. So keep that in mind. Um, so now I'm going to turn on my iPhone. And first I have to go to the Wi-Fi settings. And I need to change. Here is WK025 blah 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 blah. That is the Wi-Fi coming from the quadcopter. So now it is connecting to that Wi-Fi network. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. Okay, so we're connected to that Wi-Fi network. So now I go and I launch the Wakira app. Helicopter. And I want to flip the screen. Uh, you've got to use this little arrow here to flip the screen. So I like to have it this way. And then, of course, my throttle's on the wrong side again. So just to prove a point I gotta go to mode 2 again and change it um, even though I'm not gonna fly with my iPhone I just wanted to show you so as I kinda move around hopefully the both are kinda coming out it's it's actually synced up pretty decently right now um, but it's just a little choppy and just it's just kinda a little too hard to actually fly FPV um, but actually it looks like it's it's not too bad right now. Well, anyway, um, I'm going to just have this, I'm going to go put this in front of my other camera here and try to have that in like a a picture-in-picture picture here. So let me get my camera set up to film that screen and we'll have that, uh, We'll have that down in the picture in picture while I fly around with the Devo 4. All right. And so it is, it's pretty, it's pretty nice and quiet and stable. Um, good pirouette rates. This is on high rates and it does have six axis stabilization. So it, it stays pretty good and level. Um, I have found that it's kind of hard to get a good hover. It either wants to climb or fall. There's no, there's no real throttle point where it'll just stay at that one elevation. So that's kind of a little bit of a pain. Kind of trying to get it trimmed out right now. But yeah, I mean, it flies. It flies pretty nice. I took it outside for a one flight already in probably five or six mile an hour wind and it handled it no problem. And as you can see, I mean, it, it's pretty nice flying quad and you get 12 minutes of flight out of it so that's really impressive. Uh, it's just not exactly FPV as it is intended to be. You just can't really fly it that way. I mean maybe if you wanted to get it up high in the sky first and then fly by looking at your iPhone but there's no way you could use the phone to just fly around a room like this FPV and the the props are a little brittle I, I banged into the wall once and broke one of the props down the center uh, so you may want to grab a set or two of extra props if you order one
So yeah, not bad. I really like the look of it. It looks really cool, that's for sure. And so hopefully uh, my two camera system is working out decently. It does have a really nice HD camera. Alright, well let's take her in for a landing. Oof. Yeah, again, that, that delay on the throttle when you power down there is kind of something to get used to. But anyway, that's the uh, Wakira QRW100S. Alright, well thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you next time.